I, I have to wonder what the retailers would do if there is a strike right before the Christmas buying season. It just so happens that we have Gerald Storch with us, who really knows a thing or two about the retail business. What would you do if you were running a huge consumer chain, retail chain, and you got a strike threat? What would you do? Well, this has happened many times before. So you try to order in goods early. You try to shift the ports that you're sending them to because they usually don't all go on strike at the same time. So there's well, a way around it. Well, you work around it. You sh even even we used to ship uh, stuff into Mexico and then uh, put it on trucks to take it across the border. So you work to get around it. No doubt, it adds costs. And then they always settle right before, and you wish you hadn't shifted anything. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is it right to say that consumers are spending more, but they're getting less? Absolutely. This has been true for month after month after month for several years now. Every time the retail sales report comes out, like it did yesterday, you see these headlines. Consumers still spending. Everybody's happy. Well, they're not happy. You can just ask them, and they tell you they're not happy, and I'll tell you why. The CPI, which came out last week, was up 2.5% year over year, or two-tenths of 1% month over month. Retail sales were up 2.1%. That's less than 2.5%. And they're not adjusted for inflation. And they were up 0.1% month over month, if you believe those numbers, because they change them all the time. Nevertheless, the reality is that for month after month after month, for years now, the growth in retail sales has been lower than the inflation rate. So it's ridiculous. They're spending more and getting less, and they know it. I look at the retailers, and I look at the successful ones. Seems to me you've got Walmart, TJX, Costco, Amazon. Very successful retailers. And I think that's because all of them are offering deals, and all of them are souping up their e-commerce department, so to well, speak. Well, they're sure all offering deals. You know, Walmart is the, is the case study. I mean, brilliant performance for years now. And it shows in the stock, by the way. And, uh, you know, doing great in the stores, great, especially buy in line and pick up in the store. There's lines of people picking up their groceries at the store at, at Walmart. Costco, too. Both great. Great value, great Internet. TGX, by the way, doesn't have a great Internet. They don't need to. You know, it's a treasure hunt. You love going to the stores and looking for that stuff and, and shifting through it, doing fantastic. Amazon is all about the Internet on the other side, and they own it. And you can see the Internet was one of the categories that grew the most in the most recent retail So report. those stocks on the screen, Walmart, Costco, TJX, Amazon, they are winners in the retail sector. So I've been Big recommending time. them on your show I know. for five to ten years. And if you just bought those four, you wouldn't need to do anything else. You'd be rich. <laughs> OK, I'll, we're going to leave it right there, young man. <laughs> uh, Mark, thanks very much indeed, Joe. Always good stuff. Thank you. My pleasure.